Okay, so here we are. We've got the froth pack kit. Now we want to open it up, take a look at the contents, and make sure that we've got everything that was supposed to come in the kit. So as we look down at the kit here, get a little flap, we pull it back, open up the lid, and we pull out the operating instructions. It's inside a bag here with the nozzles, and also we have a little tube of petroleum jelly, which we put on the face of the gun to make the gun more usable uh, after it's been activated. Also inside here, we've got a handle that pops up for easy carrying. And then inside, we have the InstaFlow 3 dispenser. It's a patented design dispenser with an automatic safety valve in there. And then the hoses are pre-attached to the cylinders. Pull those out, and we'll take a look inside the, the carton here to see what we have. Inside are two steel cylinders, and they were pressurized. To activate the system, you counterclockwise open the valve all the way open on both sides, and you'll see chemical that'll start flowing through the hoses. Before we do that, though, we'd want to make sure we have our full pr protective equipment on because we'd be ready to spray at that point. Let me set this back down, and I'll show you how to put a nozzle into the gun. We've got two different types of nozzles. We've got a round nozzle typical spray pattern and we also have a fan tip nozzle which has a v-notch and the v-notch is also a blue color to tell the difference between the two different nozzles. These nozzles insert very easily into the InstaFlow gun. There's a notch on the bottom of the nozzle and that sits inside the gun. You press in firmly until you hear it snap and you'd be good to go. Once the hoses are filled with chemical all you have to do is pull back on the safety and then on the trigger and that will cause the spraying material to come out and you're making foam. When you're done, you stop. You should eject the nozzle either right away or before you uh, reapply the material. If you stop for more than 30 seconds, this nozzle will get clogged up. And all you have to do is press down on the back end, the nozzle will come out and you can insert a new nozzle over again. And all you have to do is pull the trigger, and you're back spraying material again. It's that easy. So I guess at this point, we can get our personal protective equipment on and go back to spraying foam.